Hi, um, we're Alicia and Hannah. We're the organizers of the Nuclear Narrative Stream at the Streams Transformative Environmental Humanities Conference at KTH in Stockholm, Sweden. Since the conference had to be postponed from August 2020 to August 21 due to the COVID-19 travel restrictions, we want to give you a a tiny bit of a sneak peek into our stream. On this site, you will find some short teaser videos of individual contributions, as well as a booklet with all the abstracts from our four sessions. But first, uh, let's introduce ourselves briefly. Yes, my name is Alicia Butting, and I'm a PhD candidate at the Division of History of Science, Technology and Environment at KTH Royal Institute of Technology in Stockholm. In my thesis, I'm researching the history of the nuclear Rhine from a water perspective. And I'm Hannah Klaubert. I'm a PhD student of literary and cultural studies at the Department of English at Stockholm University and also at the GCSC uh, in Gießen in Germany. And in my research, I uh, study fiction and nonfiction dealing with nuclear disaster from the 1980s onwards. I focus on the narrative forms, by which I mean the tropes, genres, modes um, they utilize to capture the disorienting experience of living in a potentially contaminated environment. When we announced our call for papers, we were overwhelmed by the amount of high quality submissions. We realized quickly that we would have to broaden our formally planned four paper panel into several sessions. Initially, we proceeded from our two own perspectives, narratives and cultural research and narratives and historical research. The submissions showed us a much wider bandwidth and we decided to broaden our single panel to a whole stream on nuclear narratives, including scholars from a variety of disciplines. The contributions in our stream are connected by an interest in narrative as an analytical category or as a mode of explanation. It seems a particularly fruitful perspective for approaching nuclear issues, since they are surrounded by conflicting perspectives and imaginaries. Um, and those are only amplified by the imperceptibility of radiation and also by the almost mythical idea that nuclear fission um, somehow means splitting the formerly unsplittable smallest uh, material unit. Beyond nar non-narrative discourse, such as facts, numbers, graphs, what it means to live in a world imbued with nuclear infrastructures and materials is continuously socially and culturally negotiated. Of course, definitions of what exactly narratives are differ from discipline to discipline and from project to project. Social and historical analysis might pay closest attention to master and counter narratives, but also to narratives of individuals and communities. In our panel, diverse perspectives meet. The lesser known stories of nuclear industry workers, public relations strategies of nuclear industries and the International Atomic Energy Agency, as well as risk perception of communities in the neighborhood of nuclear sites. The diverse contribution study which story is told by whom and with what interest and how these narratives shift over time. Literary and cultural analysis similarly study narratives circulating around nuclear issues and the cultural imaginaries attached to civil and military nuclear infrastructures. What might, for example, a post-apocalyptic sci-fi novel or a noir film tell us about the public fears attached to radiation? Contributions in our panel range from questions about the political uses of apocalyptic narratives to the haunted aesthetics of films dealing with imperceptible radiation to the emancipatory potential for indigenous communities in shaping their own nuclear narratives through, for example, poetry. Nuclear narratives are studied through the lens of feminist ethics of care and in a heritage framework. In conclusion, uh, with our cross-disciplinary panel, we want to start a conversation about culturally specific as well as cross-cultural nuclear narratives. The contributions focus not so much on apocalyptic visions of nuclear holocaust, but grapple with the reality that we live in a nuclear world. To look at nuclear narratives means examining the patterns of how nuclear discourses and debates have developed, as well as to uncover the schemes or dispositives still available to us to speak about nuclear issues today. So, if you want to know more about our panel, check out the other videos and our booklets. 